In today's video, we're going to visit the swamps of sadness and make some modular swamp terrain. Before we start today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Okay, so I start with a little sculpt the mold and place them in my printed terrain pieces. And I knew I was going to want three shallow pools to either do impassable or difficult terrain. So I'm just laying out the basic shapes here where I'm going to pour the resin in later on. Here I'm just using a little bit more sculpt mold and then uh, forming it around the edges of the 3D printed piece here. And then I'll smooth it around the uh, plastic edge so it'll look like it's seamless here. What I really loved about this build too is I finally got over my fear of using the airbrush really only used it for base coats uh, for larger projects and never really decided to paint a whole project so this entire video's paint job except for a few small detail bits um, was done with entirely with an airbrush and a muted palette and i think it came out really well I wanted to add a little bit more in here, uh, so I put in some uh, hands reaching out of the bog that will eventually be uh, covered up with this Envirotex light resin. Now this is a two-part resin, um, and it's not mixed by weight, but by volume. Make sure you get all that other cup into the first cup and then you're going to mix this for several minutes until you start seeing it uh, get a little bit of cloudy white. Now my first thought was I wanted to go with something like an olive green to kind of reflect that swampy nasty water but after watching uh, some clips of the never ending story again I decided to go with transparent burnt umber and here I'm just uh, pouring it over a little uh, skinny stick here so that I can try and get some of the bubbles out if necessary. Um, this was a pretty smooth pour I didn't end up having any surface bubbles but you might and you could use um, like a little lighter or even your breath sometimes would be warm enough to pop the surface bubbles. 
And then, uh, because the ground was so muddy, I decided to get a couple different packages of these army painter tufts and break up some of that, um, all that mud. So that's going to wrap things up. Thank you for tuning in. Check out these videos below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. That really helps the channel grow. And all of my content is absolutely free.